very good morning friends i welcome you all on behalf of snjb's kbj and college of engineering sanford on behalf of department of computer engineering and on behalf of your course in charge for database management system my students i welcome you on this particular course that is database management system and its number is 310241 i am mahesh sanghvi working as vice principal professor and head department of computer engineering snjb is led so kbj in college of engineering chandwad i am happy to inform you that this session is also live on youtube and i'll be happy if you have any sort of comment or any sort of question any sort of query you are most welcome you can type all sorts of queries on chat window maybe on zoom or maybe on youtube so let's begin with the course outcome and the course objective dear friends you must know what exactly we are going to cover into this particular point and for that be ready with this and after the introduction of this particular course we'll also have opportunity to take introduction of few of the students and in this way we'll take what introduction of each and every student step by step i hope my voice is audible to you all and my screen is visible to you all so let's start with the fascinating course that is database management system so with first thing we will see the teaching scheme what exactly the teaching scheme of this dbms then there will be the second part that we will cover will be the prerequisite courses what are the prerequisite courses to start with dbms what is important that one should know so that we'll see then the third one will be your course objectives why to learn this particular course and what student should get benefit after this particular course so that is what an idea behind course objective what is expected that that is course outcome means what student will gain after completion of this particular course then we'll see the fifth point that will be course content what are, what are the units what kind of units six units which are there and what is the importance of each and every unit that is course content then we'll focus on the most important part that is course material that is books where exactly the material or the data will be available to you all so with this you if you observe we are focus on teaching scheme now teaching scheme means what you must know who will be the course instructor so I, i'll be dealing with your theory session okay so entire dbms theory sessions will be taken care by me then the course name should be known to you that is database management system and it's the its code is 310241 friends this code is important you must know all the codes of every courses because this is normally needed why your you know why your uh, any any sort of questions and all I request everyone to please mute yourself so that it will not be the disturbance for anyone then regarding course head so you should know that there will be theory okay of 3 hours but i have added one more theory one more theory so i will deal four theory in a week and then there will be practical that is practical as well as term work so 2 hours means total 4 hours will be there as far as your practical is concerned and practical will be taken care by some of the different faculties like khusra madam as well as shakat bp sir okay you must know the examination pattern there will be theory exam in semester 30 marks and end semester 70 marks so in all there will be a 70 marks of paper uh, for you okay and it will be completely based on you know descriptive okay it will nothing to do with your mcqs now so dear students you need to focus here that theory examinations will be there in semester 30 marks in semester 70 marks then finally your practical examinations and your practical examinations will be there and details will be given to you in your practical thing now let's move on the course dependency chart dear friends why to learn this particular subject that is dbms currently i'm talking about dbms okay and once you know once you know about dbms okay then what will be the benefit like what is essential for dbms so prerequisite like if you observe here you need what prerequisite like data structures and algorithm 
so whatever data structures and algorithm you have studied in second second year and discrete mathematics which you have studied in again second year so dear students these two subjects are essential to work with database management system if you have good knowledge of database management system definitely you can have a good you can able to work out with database management system laboratory there is one more uh, there are so many subjects which are dependent on dbms dear friends in second semester you will get the subject data science and big data analytics nowadays you you must be aware that there is great demand of data science engineers as well as what there is great opportunity in big data so dear friends that subject is there and for that subject prerequisite is your dbms so dbms is important again for web technology which is again there into your second semester and this web technology will again need the knowledge base of your database so dear students when you learn dbms you will be you know you can able to master into dbms cell lab data science and big data analytics and web technology so this is what the course dependency graph where you will understand why dbms is important and for dbms which are the prerequisite subject that is data structure is one of the subject discrete mathematics is one of the subject in parallel with dbms you have to learn database management system lab where you have to do certain practicals on sql and mongodb so you have to think on this particular direction also and once you learn these subjects in second semester you will be benefited for data science and big data analytics and web technology because dbms becomes the base for both these subjects and even some of the subjects into what final year the moment the teaching team will be there i'll share with you that particular thing okay so this is all about teaching scheme now regarding course objective so why to learn this particular subject to understand fundamental concepts of dbms one should know what is exactly dbms what are its concepts why this particular subject is so important try to understand this particular subject is as it is since last 20 years even when i was in diploma i have done my diploma degree master degree phd everywhere this subject was there depth differs so dear friends this is one of the important subject and normally it is known as core subject and it is also taking care of your you know the gate in gate there are 10 subjects out of that one subject is from dbms so those who are planning for higher education you need dbms those who are planning for cracking any of the campus interview you definitely there will be one question there will be questions fixed based on what dbms sql queries will be definitely there while your interview campus interview if those who are planning for business they also need what database management system because that is what the back end part which is important so to understand the fundamental concept of dbms that will be there as a one of the objective your second objective will be to acquire the knowledge of database query language and transaction processing dear friends transaction means what suppose you are you have already you know taken admission to college right you have paid fees so when you have paid your fees means your amount is deducted from your account and it is added okay or it is deposited into what college account this is known as transaction where some amount is subtracted from your account and added into what the college account this is known as what transaction how to handle this entire transaction processing that will be that we will learn and query language there are so many so different different query languages available some of them are structured query language okay in mongodb also you have to write out write down certain queries even we have to work out with post gre also so dear friends here you will understand database query language into this particular subject to understand systematic database design approach database design kaise karna hai that is important how to design database so that will be taken care into what this approach that is systematic database design okay so you will i'm sure that you will be able to design your own databases by observing applications so that confidence will be there after this course in you then to acquire the skills to use powerful flexible and scalable general purpose databases to handle big data the students you will be you will be able to work out with what big data after end of this particular unit to be familiar with advances in database and application there are different different advanced databases which are there for example how to take care of geographical data you all are using what google map 
how does google map is you know taking care of each and every data so that entire study will be there into what your last unit and the last objective is mainly made for that so this is our all about course objective now let's focus on course outcome dear friends course outcome is mentioned like 301 it means that it is third year subject it is the first subject of dbms and point 1 means what its first outcome okay so first course outcome will be analyze and design database management system using er model so you will be having wonderful knowledge of er that is entity relationship model after completion of this particular unit so your first unit deals with databases its introduction its fundamental things and we have to sum up with er model that is entity relationship model then we will be focusing on unit number 2 that is implement database queries using database languages so how to write structured sql queries that knowledge will be given to you and i'm sure you all can able to write database queries easily at third course outcome we have to normalize the database design using normal form whenever we have to design the databases there is one of the systematic approach that is known as normalization and we have to follow all this normalization tips and that we'll see into unit number 3 then the fourth course outcome is apply transaction management concept in real time situation so this is the fourth unit that will give you an understand understanding of how the transactions are happening online transaction or any sort of transaction in database how it is happening so that knowledge will be given to you and you all can able to you know apply your own knowledge and you you all can able to you know work out with this transaction management then use of no sql this is your fifth outcome use of no sql databases for processing unstructured data nowadays there are basically two types of data available in the market structured means one blank form is given one structure is given and you have to simply fill up that particular form that is known as structured unstructured means what nothing is given to you entire freedom is given to you and you have to write down by your own so that is ultimately what unstructured nowadays unstructured is playing great role and to handle unstructured we need no sql databases so that is what we have to learn into course outcome 5 now the last course course outcome will be differentiate between complex data types and analyze the use of appropriate types so there are various different different data types available in case of your dbms how to handle graphical data how to handle spatial data all kinds of data types that you will learn here and then you can able to differentiate between each and every database okay so next is your course content course content here you need to focus on various different different units so you need to you must know what are the units which are available so very first unit in this dbms is introduction to database management system and er model so this will be your first unit and we will start with this unit from tomorrow then the second unit will be based on sql and pl sql this is all about you know the programming and those who are having certain fear factor of programming don't worry it's not tough it is very easy and i'm sure with this session okay with your attendance i'm sure you all can able to write down sql queries because it is pretty simple so sql and pl sql that we have to deal with second unit your third unit will be relational database design so the way i have told you that we have to design the databases we must have confidence in designing what databases that is one of the important task and that we have to learn into unit number 3 unit number 4 will take care of your transaction management so how database transactions are happening and how to take care while transactions are happening likely so that we have to study in case of unit number 4 unit number 5 deals with your no sql databases so here we will see sql and here we will see no sql so no sql it stands for not only sql so it is beyond sql that we need to understand it is nothing to do with no sql and sql nahi hai aisa nahi hai us no ka long form hai not only sql so that also we have to study into unit number 5 and the last unit will deals with advances in databases so there are different different types of databases available different different data types are available and we have to learn all kinds of this advanced databases so that we all can able to you know deal with textual data 
एनिमेटेड डेटा वीडियो डेटा ऑडियो डेटा स्पेशल डेटा ऑल काइंड ऑफ डेटा जोग्राफिकल डेटा ऑल काइंड ऑफ डेटा वी कैन एबल टू वर्क आउट इन दूनिट नंबर सिक्स सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द कोर्स कंटेंट एज फार एज यूर यूनिट्स आर कंसर्न नाउ आई विल ऑल्सो डील विथ गैप बिकॉज आई है studied your entire dbms and i'm happy to inform you that since last 19 years i'm dealing with this particular subject so dear friends i'm well aware what is important in your gate examination what is important in your industry examinations sorry industry interviews so i have studied the entire part and based on that i have identified certain gaps from your syllabus तो सिलेबस के बाहर की कुछ चीजें मैं आप लोगों को सिखाऊंगा जो सिलेबस में नहीं है सो दैट इज नॉर्मली नोन एज वैल्यू एडिशन और कंटेंट बियॉन्ड सिलेबस आपके सिलेबस के बाहर की चीजें जो डीबीएमएस में इंपॉर्टेंट है दैट आई विल डील एंड फ्रॉम दैट रिलेशनल अलजेब्रा एक्सप्रेशन इज वन ऑफ द कंसेप्ट दैट आई विल डील देन एम्बेडेड एसक्यूएल दैट ऑल्सो आई विल डील ओके देन आई विल डील विथ क्लोजर ऑफ एफ डी दैट इज फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसी यहाँ पे फिक्स डिपॉजिट नहीं है एफ डी एफ डी यानी क्या फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसी वो मैं आप लोगों का कवर करूंगा आप लोगों को थर्ड एनएप तक ही है तो मैं आपको फोर्थ एनएप और फिफ्थ एनएप भी कवर करने वाला हूँ एडिशनल चीजें मैं आपको दूंगा एम एस एक्सेस भी मैं आप लोगों को पढ़ाने वाला हूँ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट का एक एक्सेस ये एक एडिशनल प्रोडक्ट है जो मैं आप लोगों को पढ़ाने वाला हूँ बिकॉज इट इज इसल एट मेनी प्लेसेस सो दैट ऑल्सो आई विल डील आई विल ऑल्सो डील विथ गूगल स्प्रेडशीट now what is ms excel is play ms excel is playing role in every industry in every business you need what excel or you need what spreadsheet and that is the reason we have to even cover this particular part that is google spreadsheet and i'm sure you all will be master into what this google spreadsheet after this session so this is what the value addition that i will deal so you have your syllabus then plus i'll take what value addition so dear friends your entire syllabus will be like this syllabus that is university syllabus plus gaps that is ultimately what your content beyond okay syllabus so that also i will deal okay so this entire total syllabus will be like this okay so your total syllabus will be like this where i will cover with your syllabus that is given by university then i will also cover this particular part which is also most important that is what gap or content beyond syllabus so that also i will cover and that will be your you know total syllabus so this will be your total syllabus so friends even in internal examination i will ask question on what this gap also तो ऐसा नहीं होगा कि ये कंटेंट बाहर के है तो आउट ऑफ सिलेबस है इसलिए मैं इसको इसके ऊपर क्वेश्चन नहीं करूंगा यस डेफिनेटली देर विल बी एटलीस्ट वन और टू क्वेश्चन on to what this gaps so dear friends we have to take this gaps or content beyond syllabus also seriously okay and this of course this syllabus will be there and in semester examinations and your end semester examination questions will be there but in internal i will cover gap as well as what syllabus also and accordingly you will be asked certain questions based on that now the most important part that is you know your books which are the books which are available so one of the famous book very very famous book that is of court silver chat court and sudarshan database system concepts sudarshan is one of the professor at iit bombay he is one of the fabulous prof professor and i have attended many of his session i am i'm happy to inform you that i have attended the sessions of all three and they have done great job into this particular dbms so this is one of the best book of magra hill and it is available on your college library we have almost 25 uh you know uh, books in a quantity available so you all can able to use sixth edition is important okay so this is your first book then your second textbook will be canally t bay database systems this is of pearson education so friends this is also one of the second book which is important okay that is on your textbook okay and the third book is regarding pramod sad sadalje and Martin Floor for Floor he is one of the again wonderful man who is actually dealing with what no sql databases so dear friends this is what the books which are essential as far as your textbook is concerned 1 2 and 3 these three books are important this is all these three books are available in our college library if you need any sort of copies of this you all can come into what the college library and you can issue this particular books on your name now certain reference books which are there that is cj date 
okay he is again one of the wonderful author and have written a wonderful book that is introduction to database system then the second book is of sk singh okay who is actually dealing with what database systems on concepts where design and application uh, is actually what playing great role okay this is of peers in education and the third book third reference book is about the christina short words here if you observe the michael darlof and they have written a book on mongo db so dear friends you can even see this particular books mainly for what mongo db and which is there into what your unit number 5 so friends these are the six books which are important as per as your database is concerned but dear students trust me those who are planning for you know getting good knowledge my ppts are more than enough my course material is more than enough if you study from that it's more than enough so that i can assure you now this is all again the next reference book adam forward have given a book on nosql then kevin rubey storing and managing big data that is nosql had one of the important platform so that is again useful to you okay so this is what the fifth book and the sixth book is of joy who is actually taking care of what sqlite so many of you are using mobile app development right so for mobile app development you need back end something lighter database management system and that is ultimately what sqlite तो एसक्यूलाइट ये जिन लोगों को मोबाइल ऐप डेवलप करने हैं उन लोगों को ये वाली बुक काफी काम आएगी एंड दैट इज अल्टीमेटली योर सिक्स रेफरेंस बुक एंड द लास्ट वन इज ऑफ अगेन जॉय ही इज एक्चुअली टेकिंग केयर ऑफ ओके दिस इज अगेन द सेम बुक आई एम सॉरी द सेवेंथ बुक इज सिमिलर now next is google classroom i have already invited you on the google classroom uh, okay both division a and b will be there so dear friends kindly join this particular google classroom without fail because entire activities will be there okay so this is what the code that you have to use for this google classroom and please join the google classroom of dbms 2020 2021 it is important okay year maine abhi change kar diya hai so don't worry year is now changed but use this particular code okay to join this particular google classroom next is my blog my blog is there and i'll i'll be happy if you see this particular blog where student corner is specifically mentioned for you all okay you will get all the detail contents here and at course material even you will get all the other contents at what the course material if you click here you will get entire material so friends i'm sharing this particular link with you okay on the chat window so that you all can you know you all can able to ben get benefit and will enjoy this particular part of dbms okay so i am sharing with you on your live chat window okay so i have given you the link okay of my blog even i will share this link on google classroom also those who are on youtube for you also i am sharing the link on youtube also okay i can see that certain students are there on youtube so you can even attend the session youtube ke upar jin logo ne abhi tak fees nahi bharaya hai jin logo ne abhi tak admission nahi liya hai un logo ke liye scope hai aap log youtube ke through bhi kya kar sakte hain join kar sakte hain okay or in google classroom also we will do something but i'll be happy kindly complete your formalities of admission okay so this is all about you know blog where dbms app specifically created this on the main menu so that aap logo ko idhar udhar dhoondne ki zarurat nahi padegi so this is what a nice uh, thing i have taken this students achievement on the first page okay where whatever achievements which will be there if you are developing some some app your achievement related to dbms will be highlighted here okay and it will be seen by entire world so dear students i am expecting much achievements from you all now this is my youtube channel so this is entire program is live so you can see this particular thing and you can subscribe my youtube channel i'll be happy if you subscribe so that the notification will come to you automatically okay so to subscribe this channel again i am giving you what the scope to subscribe this youtube channel so i am sharing with you what on this youtube page jo hai unko to zarurat nahi tha fir bhi maine unko share kiya hai and those who are on you know the chat okay zoom chat also i am sharing that particular part so you can subscribe this youtube channel so that will be helpful to you later on into what seeing this particular video i have gone through your seniors opinion they said that sir 
YouTube uh, videos are really useful. Whenever we are not getting any sort of concepts, हम लोग उसको रिवाइंड कर सकते हैं फिर से देख सकते हैं पॉज कर सकते हैं उसमें से स्नैप शॉट लेके चीजें ले सकते हैं सो दैट इज यूजफुल फॉर यू सो दैट विल बी यू नो द थिंग्स Now, as far as your attendance is concerned, I'll take your attendance in this way. You have to scan this particular QR code. Okay, please scan this QR code. Okay, and to scan this QR code, you need Google Lens. Okay, and by using this, you can mark your attendance. Okay, those who are having problem in scanning this, okay, for you, I will give you what the, uh, you know, link on chat window also. So I'm sharing link on chat window. those who are unable to like those who don't have what this particular software okay in that case you can mark your attendance from this google classroom i will only consider your google classroom attendance as a final attendance okay so again those who are on you know youtube for them also i am sharing it so google form i have shared with you and you all can you know mark your attendance by using this okay dear friends today i am sharing with you one of the prerequisite paper and immediately you have to give that particular you know exam okay aapko prerequisite ka paper mein share kar raha hu uska link share kar raha hu aap sabhi logo ko ye wala exam immediately abhi dena hai okay your time your examination time will start now as i am sharing the google form link with you it is mcq best don't copy simply answer okay your time starts now those who are on youtube i have shared the link with you kindly mark your attendance as well as opt for this examination your time is started now this prerequisite question paper is based on your db uh, data structures as well as discrete mathematics okay so that i will understand what kind of knowledge which is there to you all and how much i have to deal into your prerequisite so that is what an idea you can see that i have designed the logo for dbms also and you can see the logo here in between you know this logo that i have specifically designed for you all that is snjb and then what dbms that is database management system entire time your attendance will be taken like this only so hence for you all have to you know install google lens or configure google lens so that the moment you scan you will get form and every time you have to mark your attendance by using this google form so i'm waiting for your answers so simply start writing start writing in the sense is it's multiple choice question you know go for it i'm waiting for 5 minutes entering division is mandatory so a or b that you need to mention if you don't have your roll numbers kindly ask to your class coordinator they will provide you what the roll numbers Shresh Gupta submitted the paper. Good.
Kushal Savant also completed his exam. Even Nisha Shahke also. Four students completed till date. Now the fifth one is also there. Sonone Soham. Kenyan. Ashwini Gangude also done. Pawar Teju also done. Carry on. Total 10, 11 students have submitted. Now 14. Count is increasing. Only 59 students have marked their attendance. So please take care. Almost 36 students have given examination. Do it fast, students. I have shared the analysis with you all. You can see the analysis also. Till 51 students have given this exam. And I can see that only one student has got 10 marks. Eight students got nine marks. So likewise, you will understand. Don't worry, I am not taking the name of anyone here. But yes, those I have got 10 out of 10, I will definitely take their name here. Fifty five students have given exam till date, and sixty eight students have marked their attendance. Total 65 students have given exam. Okay, meanwhile, I'll be happy that some of you please open your camera, okay, and introduce. Let me introduce myself. I am Mahesh Sangvi, working as professor and head Department of Computer Engineering, SNJB's Late South KBJN College of Engineering, Chanpur. I have total 19 years of experience and since 19 years, I'm teaching this subject known as database management system. I have done various projects on this database management system and we are doing some live projects also into this DBMS. So I'll be happy to know about you. At least five to 10 students should introduce them. So I request those who will take 
opportunity can take you can unmute and you can start you all can unmute hello sir yes go in my name is govinda ravikiran chastave and i am from ahmednagar and uh, learning uh, as a student at sinc wonderful thank you dear next yes mayur yes sir hello sir i am mayur gurupade from nepal now uh, i am a campus ambassador at imu then the intel sala that uh, i am a student of snjb oh great nice to see you mayur next take the opportunity initiation those who will take initiation will definitely get good opportunity in future also take initiation two students have given their introduction next yes akshay Hey, good morning, sir. And by your classmates, I am a teacher from Bangalore. I am a third year engineering graduate in SNJB College of Engineering. Akshay, can you please on your camera? Yeah, fantastic. Good job. Sir, it's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Akshay. Wonderful. Next. Anyone? Any other other student? अरे इतने लोग हैं सो गए क्या सब लोग थ्री स्टूडेंट्स हैव गिवन देयर इंट्रोडक्शन गुड मॉर्निंग सर माय सेल्फ छाजेन्या सुनील गुड मॉर्निंग नेहा कंटिन्यू आई एम इन थर्ड ईयर एंड आई विल ट्राई टू रिड्यूस माय कोडिंग सर थैंक यू सर ग्रेट वंडरफुल वाओ four students have given their introduction we have six more we have scope we have two minutes right in two minutes two introduction can be possible any two students hello sir yes mayur uh, sir i am uh, mayur thakur and uh, i am the student of third year i am from bhusavar and uh, i am currently gaining the knowledge about, about web development very good mayur very good wonderful thank you next one last introduction of today's session come on dear students take the opportunity hello sir i am pranjal ji thakre from umra yes pranjal Ranjal uh, can't see you your video is not on yeah now i can see you wonderful thank you ranjal so dear friends i'm so happy that you all have you know some of you have introduced today and similarly we'll take what opportunity to introduce some more students into what the coming lectures from next lecture onwards i will focus on you know uh, the part okay that i wanted to focus mainly here you can see that 79 students have given what the responses and i can see that there are three students got 10 marks so hearty congratulations those who have got 10 out of 10 no doubt those who have got 6 and above uh, have done good job 5 4 3 and 2 i will analyze where exactly you are getting wrong and accordingly i will explain you few of the topic from our prerequisite that is from data structures and discrete mathematics which is actually very very essential to learn about your database management system dear friends thank you so much for your patience listening i hope we both will enjoy this sessions of database management system thank you dear students bye bye see you all